Your man in Japan, Jay Contra here, and I'm at the book off in Akihabara. And I wanted to say that this is the worst book off I've ever been in, simply because of the prices. Now, as you can see here, this collection of Pokemon games might have been here for at least two years now. At least a year ago, I saw this set. It's got every Game Boy Pokemon, red through crystal. And it is going for $500. Well, given the exchange rate, what, $475? It's about 105 yen to the dollar now. These games are at most $30 a piece. So, so these, this should be in total about $200. But what Book Off has done is they've decided that, you know what, we're going to target the tourists. We're going to get someone who wants all the Pokemon games and they want them fast. And that's why you see a $500 set of Pokemon games. But then you look at Dracula X, you look at Rondo of Blood, and for $200 with the spine cover in good condition, that's actually not terrible. It's not a terrible price. Although you do go over to uh, Terra Crest at 2 for the PC Engine, that's going for what, 270 It's a bit steep. Not terrible though. Batsugun, in fair condition with the spine cover for 220 Not bad. Certainly have seen worse. What else do we have? Oh, here are the soundtracks. What soundtracks do we have? I see a Sonic soundtrack, but aside from that, not much. I only see a bunch of, hold on, inexpensive. What expensive Neo Geo games do they have? I mean, rel relative to the Neo Geo, not much. Not much. Okay, so that's the game showcase. What I'll try and do is move over to the regular games. Yeah, let's look. Oh God, it's about $10 too expensive for Street Fighter 2. Destructive. That looks cool. Why do I feel like I've played this before? I don't know. Oh, because it's a Super Scope game. So yeah, I think my dad has this game somewhere. What else have we got? Got an F91? Oh. Jinko, Super Double, Nekomon. Bunch of sports games. So let's eat. What we'll do is we'll kind of just take these shelves in order. I think we might want and done this, because I don't think we're going to find anything super rare here. Super Famistar 95. What's this? Pro Tour Golf. Man, I, think, I, f I do feel bad for the sports games because they're just going to stick here forever. Oh, Yu Yu Hakusho. East? Oh, Wanderers from East. Was it like not the real East? Good, yeah, maybe let's just not do it blind. Okay, hold on, here we go. Secret of Mana. 18 bucks, give or take. Hold on, okay, here's the real test. How much are the Gooey Man games gonna be? Because these get real expensive. You know? That's not half bad. The gold mine games are usually, I'd say Mandarake, they'd be what, 35 plus? That's not bad. I, I underestimated you. Book off. Ooh, Final Fight Guy. 6,000? If this has the CD. Or no, wait, this is not the CD version. Sometimes there's one that's supposed to come with a CD. But for 6,000 yen, complete? It's not bad. It's not bad. Do we have anything else exciting? Pinocchio. How much is Pinocchio? Twenty dollars. Thing down here. Okay. Nothing exciting. Romancing Saga. Sim City. I think did they they tried to release Sim City for the Famicom, but that never came out. 
guess it wasn't powerful enough or something. Didn't Nintendo develop it? I think, hold on. Didn't Nintendo develop this? I think so, yeah. Okay, let's move over. Something you don't often see in a book off are Neo Geo games. 35 bucks a pop. Hmm. You know, I never understood Samurai Spirits. I was never good at those. Do you do you Kono Ken too? Then we even have some MSX games. So yeah, Nobunaga's Ambition and Romance of Three Kingdoms. Then we even have ooh Marvel vs. Capcom. Or is, wait, X Men vs. Street Fighter? Is there a difference? I don't know. That's the marquee games. What have we got? We've got... <laughs> we have... Seven copies of Air. Eighteen bucks, though. Like, this is... We got a hundred dollars worth of stuff right here, folks. What is even... Why do they have so many copies of this? Oh, it's an anime game. Oh, well. Oh, wait, and then here's, like, this weird rogue copy. Just a manual and disc. See, sometimes it's hard to, uh, tell what is good and what is not. Seventh Cross. Looks like it could be something. Oh, here's Shenmue 2. How much is Shenmue 2? 45 bucks? No. Shenmue 2 is not 45 bucks, first of all. It doesn't have the outer cover. I would not buy this for forty-five dollars. Runkiasta, four dollars. That could be something. That looks neat. Ooh, Capcom vs. SNK Millennium Fight Two Thousand. Once again, I'm looking for no. I'm looking for no. Yeah, Capcom vs. SNK Two. That's what I'm looking for. I think that would be a cool addition just because of the soundtrack. I'm certainly not very good at fighting games, as many can attest. Anything else? What's in the other rooms? We got a bunch of Famicom boxes. Star Luster? Yeah. How much is this? $9. Oh, the Goonies. 18 bucks for the Goonies. I don't know, that could be fun. Combat. $9. Also got, and I can't believe this came out, American Football. $4. Ooh, hold on. Middle Gear for 40 That's actually not bad. These days. Normally this would be like a $50 game. Ooh, and... And... Top Gun. $9. Okay, that's all the interesting... Yeah, let's just give a, one more look over the Super Famicom games. I don't see anything of interest. Even... Well, they do have some 3DO games. Hold on. Well, they've got one 3DO game. Excuse me. <laughs> So, whatever this is, Alone in the Dark 2. Originally, 6,800 yen. It was about 65 bucks. Now it's $18, give or take. I'm trying to see if we've got any... No, I can't tell. Neon Genesis Evangelion. This is, these are usually cheap. Well, this one's 13 bucks. I don't know if it's worth that. games. Vampire Hunter Darkstalkers Revenge. 13 bucks. Oh, here's a couple long box. Um, long box anime games for the Dreamcast, so I don't know, Davey. Yeah, I don't know about those. I don't know. Hmm. 
anything else? Friends. So many anime games. Pretty Saturn for the Dreamcast. Nothing particularly rare though. Okay, let's move on. On Game Boy, what do they got? Ooh. Bomberman. It's not anything to sniff at. Fourteen bucks. Well, they got a couple of uh, Game Boy Color games. They kind of got everything. Well, in terms of systems, not necessarily in terms of games. Maybe we'll get lucky. And the PS2. PS2 shooters. If I was a PS2 shooter, where would I be? We've got the RPGs. See, this used to be really expensive. This used to be like a $60 game. Now it's $45. I think it was an Atlas joint. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember. The English name escapes me. I don't even know if it was localized. Well, here's Nocturne. This is another $60 game. Now it's $50. This is like a new version of Shin Megami Tensei 3. Hold on. Oh, hey. I'm looking for Capcom. There we go. Capcom vs. SNK 2. How much is it going to cost me? $9? I'll wait for the Dreamcast version. That's the one I want. Here's the shooting. So, we're looking at the shooting games. Remember in Japan, shooting games are considered both first person and vertical scrolling. Yeah, it's like your Ace Combats, Gun Survivor 3, Dino Crisis. Is that related to the Dino Crisis? It's a Capcom game. Let's see, Kusin 2, Combat Flight Simulation 2. Goldeneye, remember when this was a thing? They are like, oh, we're rebooting Goldeneye. I've never seen this before. What, is, what the hell is this? Reishiki Kanjo Sin So Kishiki. Something, 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 something. Wait, wait. Reishiki Kanjo Sin Toki 2. It's got a little, uh, got a little diorama in it. Just a flight simulator. 50 bucks. Put you back. That's what we got. This is new. This is new. Oh, it's a. Uh, yeah, so there's a Sega Ages collection that has a lot of like Saturn and Genesis games that got put on, on the PlayStation 2. They're usually really expensive, like, yeah, 45 bucks. But at a certain point, it's, I don't think this game is actually virtual on. It's very rare for the Saturn, so you might as well just buy the Saturn version. <laughs> and it's something I've not seen before Sidewinder V5, perhaps? Okay. And I don't I don't think Romance of the Three Kingdoms 10 is a shooter, but it's here. And Secret Weapons over Normandy. Is this a Japanese game? No, wait, Sero? Yeah, that's Japan. Totally games. LucasArts, though. That's cool. So no, no scrolling shooters here. None that I can see. Yeah, clamoring, yeah, usual American stuff. It's usually, you might find a vertical shooter every once in a while. Oh, for example, well, I wouldn't say these are vertically scrolling, but good games nonetheless. The Metal Slugs. I can't believe these, these are, you know, ROM collections. They're so expensive. That's just how powerful Metal Slug is. What is this? This is... It's in the action section. Never seen it before. And then wise... Hold on. The one on the right is a dollar. The one on the left is eight dollars. And I cannot tell you why. They look exactly the same. Actually, the one on the right looks slightly better. I don't know what happened. Oh, they even have more. Oh, I think so. I think what happened is they're trying to get rid of it. 
So they just slap these stickers on all the other ones, but they missed one. So be careful. That's It always pays to even just within the store itself look around. Because sometimes you'll find shit like that that happens. Like per, just missing prices. What is this? Yeah, I'm gonna look at some weird stuff. I've never seen this before. What's this? Kuri Kuri Mixu. That's cool. From Software made that? Seriously? Open this is 200 yen. Love that haircut. <laughs> Okay. Unison. This is all the stuff. What even is this? 20 bucks though. Used to be, you can see this sticker, used to be 37. It can look hard enough. The story of Hiro Yoshitsune and Lupin the Third. Fortunately, I'm really looking for. Katamari games, but they only have the best version of Nino Mo. Katamari. We love Katamari. Looks so good though. Really want to play it. Okay, Mega Man. How much is Mega Man? Bottom Rockman X8. Oh, why do I? I think I might have bought this for like 4,000 yen ages ago, and that's how far it's gone down. Wow. Maybe. I might be misremembering that. I thought it was kind of expensive. What do we got down here? Ooh, Space Channel 5 Part 2. Now the PS2 version is much cheaper. Because the Dreamcast version is like $50. Oh, the Samurai Champloo game. Nine bucks. I love Samurai Champloo. Guilty Gear and Disney's Dinosaur. Don't recall that. That was just random. I thought I was picking up Devil May Cry. Technic Tix. Never seen that. There's so much stuff. So much PlayStation games, so many PlayStation games out there. A Marvelous game, Dobu Obu Bay, by Marvelous and Guramon Batoru, by Taito. Cool. I think there might be some people on the internet interested in this. Maybe. Look, no judgments. You're into what you're into. you up top, see what's up there. Oh my god, a bunch of shining games. Yeah, we were just looking at the RPGs, weren't we? We look down. Wow, this is a paradise. This has got everything. So, I remember this. I remember seeing this in like EGM years ago. So I would like to pick this up one day. Four bucks? Oh, hold on. Look. Again. Buy this version for four dollars. Sure, it's more beat up. Or you could buy the vest version for four dollars. So we'll put you back. They've got man, they've got every RPG you could want. Persona 2, Persona 3, Fez. I think you need the original Persona 3, right? To play this? I think. We've got Persona 4 at nine dollars. Blazing Souls Black Matrix. First I've seen of these games. Black Matrix and Blazing Souls. Yep, look very uh, anime. And then a uh, couple, yeah, a bunch of other RPGs. Oh, Busan Wizardry Adventure. I remember playing this. It was, um, the art is very good. I will just say that. <laughs> Other than that, I don't have much to say. Oh, Okami. So yeah, the thing about Okami is that the art for it is beautiful, except 
all best versions. No original copies. So beware that. Oh man, yeah, I think I saw an original copy once and I made the mistake of not buying it. Adventure, that's where we're at. This is a lot of adventure games. But is there anything that would interest you all? No, that's sports. I know, that certainly does not interest me. Again, if you're into sports games, that's fine. It's just not for me. Yeah, no, probably all anime games. Usually adventure games tend to be anime. I'll pull three and I'll prove my point. Adventure game anime. Adventure game anime. Adventure game anime. And you know what I mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the PlayStation games. Where well, there's actually an interesting variety. So we've got our types, one and two. Well, this is a reprint, apparently. So it's only going to cost you 4,000 yen. Konami Antiques. It's another 4,000 yen game. Ooh. Wow. Dodon Patch and R Type Delta. 4,000 for R Type Delta, and that's actually not bad for the PlayStation version of Dodon Patch. That's pretty good. And then for some reason, a curling game is. So originally, this, 15, this was a 1500 yen series. All the games were about $15. Used, it is now $20. Funny how those things tend to work out. Although a lot of those games tend to not be very expensive. So, oh, Tactics Ogre. 14 bucks for Tactics Ogre. Yeah. Again, I, I really want to get into Tactics games. Just haven't gotten around to it. And Legend of Mana, fantastic soundtrack, fantastic game. Would really, I really, really recommend Legend of Mana. Although, it's like a $10 game at most. Here it's 14. Next to Mega Man 8. Good shape, 15 bucks. These used to be way more expensive. Any other tactics? Maybe they have Final Fantasy tactics. Oh, they got Final Fantasy, or sorry, Persona 2. 15, 14, 13 bucks. That's actually really good, in real good shape. I don't think you'd necessarily go wrong picking that up. Ooh, Valkyrie Profile. Isn't this really expensive in English? 14 bucks. Man. Maybe it was five. And because I haven't shown them off in a while, Chrono Cross. Loved Chrono Trigger, still have not played Chrono Cross. Ooh, Xeno Gears. Nine dollars. Not bad. What's down here? Biohazard, a bunch of Dragon Quests. Look at all these copies of Dragon Quest 7. Wow. There has to be at least 20 copies of Dragon Quest 7. And then we even got the Final Fantasy Collection. What is in the Final Fantasy Collection? A 4 and 5. Cool. Wow, this is really good shape. That looks great. That's mint. Ooh, I, yeah, another another game I gotta play. Brave Fencer Musashi. I'll check it out in Mondarake. I might I might take it away if uh, I can't find another good copy. Oh, Final Fantasy two, nine dollars. So you know we'll take a break from the PlayStation games real quick because I want to show you just how much this place gouges um, tourists. See there? There's a bunch of beat-up Game Boy Advance SPs. They're going for $90. I need to see the price of American SP. Are they that expensive now? There's your Game Boy Micro. I cannot freaking believe that a regular Game Boy Micro is going for $200. Absolutely not. And a regular Game Boy Advance for $70? No way. Absolutely not. 
And then we've got stacks on stacks. We even got a red. Ooh, rares. Red's pretty rare. Because that's going for 180. Again, missed my chance with that. Should have bought the red PlayStation when I had the chance. Bunch of, yeah, bunch of beat up PlayStation 2s. And these are the really coveted models. For some reason, the fat models don't sell well. I like the fat ones. They're the ones that remind me of, you know, 2001 system first came out. Tragically, I guess that's no longer the case. And some Vitas. I think, did they stop production on the Vita? Let's see, look at that. Stacks on stacks. 3DSs. Wow. They're about $90. That's so nice. There's got to be at least 100 3DSs here, if not 200. Holy shit. Oh my god. Look at this. $40 for Wii U's. This is the time. If you want to get Wii U's now, buy them here. 40 bucks. Oh my god. Okay, simulation, adventure. Take me to the shooters. What's in the shooters? Metal Gear, 18 bucks, no way, no, don't think so. Sit down, and then for some reason, um, Riven, the sequel to Mist, is in the shooting section. Again, why? What makes more sense is having the Tomb Raiders here, and Two Heart. Oh, I thought it was Tomb Raider. <laughs> Guess not. Ooh, Moon. 6,000 yen. That's good. That's a good price for Moon. Hope it has the sticker set. Let's see. Why is Suikoden... Suikoden's not a shooter, and it's also... It's a $5 game at most. Don't pay $15 for this. Yeah, I don't think they've really uh, kept up their PlayStation games. What else have we got? Uh, Magical Drop 3? Ah, I see. Puzzle game. Is this, are we in the puzzle realm now? Oh, no, wait. Oh, it's so weird. I thought they were doing right, but... Actually, it's the left. I'm completely wrong. Hold on. Or no, I think? Huh? Oh, Integral. Oh, this is, it's just all over the place. That's what's wrong with this. Metal Gear Solid Integral is just the Japanese game, but with... English voices. It's thousand arms. That's wild. That was. Calvin's Gate. Inappropriate. Don't blame. Don't ban me, YouTube. Fantastic. Especially if you can get the controller. Oh, that'd be so fun. That would be so cool. Yeah, simulation tends to be... Dragoon? What? Oh. Enemy. Spectral Force? Idea Factory. Gym Town. Sim Town. I played this a lot when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Let's see, here's Mega Man. Wow, they got a lot of Mega Mans. Wow. 
This used to be way more expensive. And why is that nine dollars? Sometimes you can tell when a game came in. Oh wait, so this came in in May, I think. Apparently it was cheap back in May, and in July, fourteen bucks. Biohazard three. Biohazard director's cut for fourteen. I, I don't know how much the Biohazard is supposed to be. And you can get the original. Ooh, yeah, that looks cool. Nine dollars. So that's all I'm interested in for the PlayStation. I'm working on the PS2, but my phone is telling me we're out of time. So I'll just do one little once over as I say the outro. This has been Your Man in Japan, Jay Contra, at the book off right in the middle of Akihabara, right down the street from the station. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to move on to another shop now. See you next time. Thanks for watching, and mahalo.